Hello, hello everyone. Welcome guys. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome into my retainings. Thank you guys for always coming around to support. If this is what we are doing today. Today we are going to make Ghana millet porridge. And today we are doing it from the scratch. We have our raw, fresh or dried millet I got from Ghana and we are going to soak all this in water overnight. I have here some herbs you can find in the African shop to buy. I have gloves in there. I have some, um, I don't know the name in English, it's Huintia and Suriza. I have it in here. I have ginger, I have dry pepper. And these are the main ingredients you need to make this delicious spicy millet porridge. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash and soak this in water overnight. I have started now. I'm washing it. You need to wash it very well because with sun and a lot of dirt so you need to wash it well I need to remove all the sun and the dirt from you can see in the plate please look at it so you have to clean it very well And in a clean bowl, you go ahead and add your wash or clean millet in. And I'm also going to wash the pepper and the ginger with the herbs. and soak it overnight. Add more water. And the black stuff you are seeing in is from the herbs I washed. It comes like that, so this is it. I'm going to cover it now and leave it overnight so we will continue so if you are new here you are welcome again subscribe join the family and you are going to love the recipes i'm sharing here see you and my lovely people it's been overnight and you can see my millet and the pepper and everything so all I'm going to do I will not throw the water away I'm going to use the water to blend everything I'll be doing it in session so that I can have it very smoothly blended you add the water also in Starting now to blend. And this is it here. So all I'm going to do is pour it into another bowl. And I'll repeat the same process again with the rest. It's 
smells wonderful. And here is my blended millet and all the spices. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to strain it. I have to do it bit by bit so that you get everything well strained. You just have to give yourself time. And you need this light um, strainer. You can also use a clean napkin if you don't have this. It also works. And my lovely people, this is the end result. You can see it here. So I'm going to leave this to rest. You need to give it time so that all the food will settle at the bottom of the bowl and you will see the real, um, how do you call it, the food inside. So you will give it time and see, you can see it there, it started already. So I'm going to allow it. But if you are in a hurry, you can just take it like this and start cooking. But we will go this normal process. We will leave it to rest. So I'm going to cover it both and I'll allow it to settle at the bottom. And then we are going to cook our spicy millet porridge from Ghana and it's normally from the northern part of Ghana but we all enjoy it from the north to the south west and east we all enjoy this healthy porridge and I believe you are loving it so stay tuned let's continue and my lovely people this is my millet or spicy millet porridge after it has settled, this is how it should look. You can see the difference here. That is the food and the water. You can see the separation. So I'm going to separate it now. But the water, I will not throw it away. I'm going to use the water to cook the porridge. This is it. So I'll set this aside and in a bowl, going to take some of the food. This is how it should be. Like this. It's very, very nice and delicious. So I'll take this. I'm making for two. rest I'm going to keep it for another day so this will go this is the water here we are going to boil the water and then cook And the water you have to use the same water from the 
Millet. You prefer. Or if you don't have enough, you can use hot water. It's also fine. Ah, oh, the aroma is so nice. Can, oh, you have the aroma of the millet. Wow. If you haven't tried it on your own, do try it on your own by preparing everything at, at home. Because the one we buy from the shop, mm, you can see the difference here. You can go to my um, breakfast uh, list on my channel and check out the recipe I made on Hausa Coco. That is the same recipe here, but the one I prepared that time, it was already made, bought um, cocoa from the shop. But this I made from the scratch and you can see the difference. So. Let's give it a try if you can. And my lovely people, it's been five minutes and my porridge is done. You don't need to overcook it. It doesn't take too much time to cook. So this is it here. So let's serve ourselves. You guys, this is our porridge here. The aroma alone is something else. So nice. If you haven't prepared this on your own, and normally it's served in a calabash. And so today I'm going the traditional way. and enjoy it so thank you so much guys and it's normally served with kose beans cake and I also have the recipe here on my channel you can check it out and I believe you are going to love it so Thank you so much for keeping up with me. Today's recipe, I believe you all enjoyed. See you again with another simple, easy recipe from Ghana and around the world. Bye-bye and God bless you.